part we're re re reviewing Riley's G22. <laughs> That's Tyler. He's an idiot. <laughs> I was recording now. You think? Yeah. Oh, it is? Yeah. I would, I would cut off this beat and bark. I might. I'll yeah. see. Yeah. yeah. Because we said... Hey guys, I'm Prodigy from Airsoft Team Kilo 23. I'm going to be reviewing the G22 today. Uh, as, as you can see, it's all matte black. Barrel's good quality. Cheap orange tip. Now, what's cool about this cheap orange tip is it's actually um, like on the barrel. It's part of the barrel instead of actually being glued onto it and being kind of um, outstretched on the end. So that's nice. You can put duct tape or something over that and make it look decent. Or electrical tape. Um, <clears throat> comes with a stock 3 to 9 by 40 scope. Decent quality. It'll last you quite a while. Won't break. Decent scope rings. Easy to use. Um, you know, normal um, bipod and all. Um, comes with one mag, extra mags, cost about uh, ten bucks extra. Forty-five. Uh, okay, this does have an ergonomic pistol grip, but quick note, it's plastic, so it's really, really weird feeling. It feels kind of cheap. Um, that's probably one of the bad things about it. It does have a secondary trigger safety. Uh, right now it's on safe. You have to press the secondary trigger safety first and pull the trigger at the same time or else it will not fire. <coughs> um, also, as you can see here, the um, cheek piece, piece, uh, piece is adjustable. It has, like, as you can see here, a little um, thing, like a little nipple-looking thing sticking out. And that really digs into your shoulder. That's another bad thing. You can take a hacksaw out of that, for all I care. Uh, you know, you got a couple of scope rings here. Or, uh, not scope rings, my god. Um, sling loops. Those are metal, along with the ones on the front here. So those are both metal, so it'll last you a long time. The gun usually does come with a sling, but it's very low quality, and it's almost not worth using because it's going to fall apart in about 10 seconds. <laughs> the weapon is bolt action. It is um, externally completely plastic. Most of the internals are metal, except the spring guide, as far as I know, and most of the trigger assembly. That's one of the bad things about it. The trigger assembly is plastic, and you're going to eventually need to replace it with some sort of L96 one. <clears throat> Usually a PSS2, something like that, around there should work. Um, basically, you know, this is a bolt-action gun. Pr pull that up, pull it back, put it down, blah, blah, blah. In the back position, the safety is on. Press it forward, you see the red dot. The safety is off. You can therefore fire it. The weapon is not cocked, so it will not fire. Okay, in a second here, we're going to um, test the range and decent FPS of this gun. It's supposed to shoot between 500 and 520 feet per second. That's what the site said. Um, unfortunately, uh, my friend Camo here got it off airsplat.com and they didn't chrono it for him, so we don't have a precise chrono. And we don't really feel like taking it to uh, Surplus, our local um, airsoft store. <clears throat> so we're just going to do a poor man's chrono, just by eye. Um, anyway, he's going to get put on a big jacket, camo is, and um, we're going to shoot him in the back with it and, you know, kind of give you a decent range test. Okay, this is the um, G22 here. We're going to be shooting camo. He's way out there by the gate, if you can see him. In a second, I'll zoom in and you can give a, uh, get a decent idea of how accurate the gun is, some where the BB hits. Uh, camo's about 60 feet away right now. Okay, we're going to go ahead and shoot him. Hear the gun being bolted there, and it's being fired. That was a good ass shot. <laughs> you can see that's pretty accurate. Uh, he's getting pissed now. Okay, take another shot. Oh, right in the center of the back. Awesome. As you can hear, this gun is like really, really quiet. So if you put like silent piston stuff in there, you could get it to be almost dead quiet. And even with a mock silencer, it would work really, really well. Um, yeah, go ahead and take another pot shot at him. Hit him in the head. <laughs> yeah. Do it. Do it. Do it. Hey, first part. Ooh, <laughs> another crack <laughs> shot. Nice. <laughs> How far can you get him away? <gasps> right in the center of the back. Okay, we're going to take one more shot here, and then you give you a decent 100, 150 range test. Oh, just okay. below the head. Nice shot. Okay, he's standing about 100 feet right now, away from the gun. Uh, we're going to go and shoot him. 
And ambush is going to snipe him again. No hit in the head. Gun's been bolted. Direct hit in the back. 100 feet, this gun is still precise. Another back hit again. Right in the butt. Oh. Okay, here he is on the far side of the yard, about 150 feet away. Bolt has been actuated. Go ahead and fire. That was a miss by about a foot. Oh, it's Ooh, curved. It's curving. it curved just as it gets out there. He misses him by like a couple inches now. Missed his head by just a few inches. That was a hit. Fourth shot got a hit. Just in the back. It's another hit. Took about two and a half seconds to get out there. Missed by barely an inch just above his right shoulder. Oh, 1.75. <laughs> no! Okay, as you can see, this is an awesome gun, but you know, if you get a tight bore barrel by like DB Custom or something, a 6.01, this gun will become an awesome beast. You know, I recommend this gun to any awesome sniper. Comes with a scope, bipod, costs about 170 bucks on those sites if you can find it. It's not exactly an easy gun to find. Uh, good hunting, guys. Thanks for watching.